Ben Studio's next big game will be live service. No, God, please, no, no! Ben Studio, the developer of Days Gone and the creator of Siphon Filter franchise, is working on a game behind closed doors that the world knows very little about. There have been tidbits of information surfaced in the form of rumors over the years, such as a claim that the in-development title is being built with Gorilla's Decima engine, but there's almost nothing concrete. Recently, a job listing surfaced online that made numerous references to a live service game being developed at Ben Studio. There's a vacancy at the studio for a lead project manager, and Ben is asking that they are experienced in the realms of live service titles. Now, Days Gone was released in 2019, but it wasn't to an overwhelming positive reception. The open world zombie title was plagued with issues, which Ben mostly addressed in post-launch patches, but it was enough to mar the game. You know, I personally enjoyed a lot of aspects of the game. I liked the action in the game, everything from running out of gas, Marauder's trip line across the roads, rippers and freakers. I loved all that. I'm assuming I, I must have purchased the game post-patches because I didn't really have any issues with that. My biggest flaw about the game was the story. Some things were very cliche, with your friend surviving the ending because he jumped out of the truck last minute, and, and, and some other non-cliche things that just were not well thought out, like Deacon and the Ripper's relationship. I, I believe that could have been fleshed out a lot more, as for me personally, it was lacking a backstory. I, I mean, you had a lot of monologue with Carlos, but I just think it could have been better handled in flashbacks or missions such as that. If I was in control of Days Gone, I would have split the game into two different games. One about Deacon falling in love and ultimately facing his greatest foe, Carlos, with you know plenty of flashback missions and stories filling in why Carlos was excommunicated, which was you know killing a member for drugs, and Deacon overcoming the loss of his wife and finding a new love. Then in Days Gone 2, that's when you reveal that his wife is alive and the Freakers are involving, and this great bad is on the horizon. You know, forcing you to choose between siding with the militia and their unscrupulous behavior, or potentially losing many, many people to the coming horde of Freakers led by intelligent pack leaders. But, you know, that's all out the window now, as it's becoming, you know, more and more obvious that Days Gone 2 will never happen. Or it will be like Good and Evil 2, where anyone who played the game is pushing 40, and the sequel is still in development even now, 21 years later. But in September of 2023, Ben Studio made a reference on social media to Siphon Filter, a legendary series that hasn't been seen since 2007, but it amounted to nothing. In the recent job listing that surfaced on Ben Studio's career page, signs were found that pointed to the studio's next game being an online live service title. That would be a curveball, as Ben hasn't led a foray into this realm of gaming. Uh, perhaps they're building an open-world zombie survival game set in Days Gone Universe. If that's the case, uh... I know. No, I have no money. 